Welcome to this playoff edition of The Row Report. I'm Kelly Rowe with Pride of Detroit. As this wild year comes to an end, some of the league's finest teams are taking the main stage. Let's recap what happened this weekend. Starting with Los Angeles Rams at Green Bay Packers. Okay, right off the bat, once I saw Aaron Rodgers sporting this middle part medieval looking flow, I knew the Rams were in for it. I mean, guys with flow like this have a 100% chance of picking apart your coverage or kissing their sister. Weird path I went down there. Focus, focus. The Packers dominated both sides of the ball with Rodgers passing for 296 yards and two touchdowns. Run game tallying 188 yards, four sacks on defense. Everybody was firing on all cylinders. The Rams, not so much. But I did want to point out this sick catch by Robert Woods. Uh, how? Then things getting a little feisty. Aaron Donald returning from injury, getting an unsportsmanlike conduct call for this little scuffle here. Frustration likely from getting beat on one and ones I can't imagine being that ref and getting him to the middle of this, like... Jalen Ramsey getting a little frustrated as well as you can see here, but we here at The Row Report managed to track down the audio. If you open a kitchen cabinet, just shut it. It's not that hard. The extended time at home with family members really getting the best of all of us. The Rams made some comeback moves with this sexy hook and lateral for a two-point conversion, but it wasn't enough. Packers win 32-18. Next up, Baltimore Ravens at Buffalo Bills. Here's my recap of the first half. But then the Bills started putting up points, including the Stefan Diggs touchdown. Though it seemed like the Ravens had a chance to fight back, especially whenever Lamar Jackson takes off running, the Bills' defense truly shined, especially Taron Johnson's pick six. He ran for 101 yards, tying with the NFL record that was first set back in 1993. The world fell harder in love with the budding bromance that is Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs. As a, as a player that you just want to... You just want to play for him, you know? He works hard, he busts his oh, A word, he busts his A word. And uh, I just love this guy, man. Sir, this is a family program, none of that language here. Bills win 17 to three as Bills Mafia erupts in well-deserved joy and tables across Buffalo cowered in fear. <laughs> I'm in danger! Next up, Cleveland Browns at Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs off to a hot start as Mahomes runs it in, then in celebration launches that sucker into the atmosphere. In the second, Kelsey with just fantastic route running and a bulldozer after the catch for this touchdown. Then one of the worst rules in football makes an appearance as Higgins fumbles through the end zone, resulting in a touchback. What's my alternative, you hardos ask? Easy, treat it like any other forward fumble out of bounds and put it right back to the spot of that fumble. If you really need to penalize the offense, put them at the 20 if you think they're gonna find some sort of loophole. On top of that, they can't even review this very, very clear helmet to helmet. Probably hard to hold onto the ball when that happens. Chiefs even call them dirty themselves. If I'm a Browns fan, I riot. In the third, Chiefs kicker Harrison Bucker misses a field goal, seems like everyone was this weekend, resulting in a loud doink as Cody Parkey watches from the Browns' sideline. <laughs> then Chad Henney comes in for Patrick Mahomes, who we all hope is okay. And just as people were saying he has enough offensive weapons to really, really look good out there, he just... Drop back and let it go. The good old arm punt. Little over a minute left, the play that no one saw coming. It is fourth and inches. Baker's over there on the sideline thinking he's getting another shot, but Andy Reid calls a pass from the shotgun. Henny finds Tyreek Hill to secure that first down, icing the game. Unbelievable. The how not to get fired, how not to get fired, the gumption of Andy Reid. I, I mean, really. Is this redemption for the name Chad? The Chiefs win 22-17. Players were excited. Fans were excited. Tony Romo was definitely very excited. Only Andy Reid gets it shotgun on fourth and an inch. And throws the ball with the backup quarterback. There's no way. He shocked everybody. And finally, the Buccaneers at the Saints. Right off the bat, Deontay Harris absorbs this hit and takes the punt 54 yards. <laughs> <laughs> that tickled. Both of these matured quarterbacks were neck and neck the entire game, but the Saints' downfall truly began when seven minutes left in the game, Breeze is picked off by Devin White. Already inside Saints territory, then Brady goes for the kill shot, a textbook quarterback sneak at the age of 43. Breeze gets the ball back and picked off again, this time by Mike Edwards. The Bucks win 30 to 20, perhaps proving Tom Brady won the breakup with Bill Belichick. He even tried to high-five a longtime supporter. 
If reports that Drew Brees is retiring are indeed correct, Brees really is one of the best I've ever played the game, so we will do our best to forget that brutal ending and remember him at his prime. Next up, the matchup between the young budding talent of Patrick Mahomes, if healthy, and Josh Allen and the refined skill of Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. We'll see you next week.